let's talk for a minute, shall we? It's been a hot minute since the last time I got ranty about something. Usually, I just ramble on about stuff. And today, what I thought is, I'm, I've got something to t- talk to you about, and I'm irrationally angry about it, it's, and it is irrational, and you'll see what I'm talking about as we get into the actual topic, but I have this question for you. Why do scroll bars suck so hard? Now, this isn't a Linux problem. This happens on Windows as well. The only operating system that does scroll bars well is macOS, and that's because Apple focuses on design. Everywhere else, scroll bars are kind of horrible. So let's take a look at what I'm talking about. And this is especially heinous when we get into a website that has dark mode. So let's just take a look at Brave, shall we? This is Brave on YouTube's website. Or it's the YouTube Studio website. Look at those scroll bars. Like, what even is that? Like, seriously, we have this glorious dark background that we finally received after years of waiting, and it's ruined by these horrendously wide, white background scroll bars. Like, really? Like, this is not a Google problem by any means. This is not something that Google is at least solely responsible for. This happens in Firefox. It happens in every single Chrome-based browser that I'm aware of. The only one that does anything to scroll bars that I know of is Edge, and they're still really thick, right? They're, they're, They're just square instead of round. And, you know, it wouldn't be a huge deal on a, like a white background because they'd blend in a little bit. But when you get into a situation where you use dark backgrounds a lot, they stand out like crazy. Like, what is that? That's the worst design I've ever seen in my life. Now, if you download an extension that changes the scroll bars, you can get something that looks like this. And if you see there along the side, that's what the scroll bar should look like. I mean, seriously, it's still not great because the background's still white. And you can change that. Uh, I've just downloaded the extension now, so I haven't finished playing around with it. The extension is called Creatively Scroll Bar Customizer. It's right there. And the fact that you have to customize the scroll bars to actually make them look halfway decent is just mind-boggling to me. So why are they bad? And like this isn't even a, like a browser problem. Like I notice it most in the browser because I spend the vast majority of my time looking at a browser or Vim. And Vim doesn't have scroll bars, thank the lord. But in other applications, especially ones that base themselves on, like, Electron and stuff like that, you see the same nonsense, like the, these gigantic scroll bars. Luckily, the browser seems to be the biggest culprit when it comes to this kind of thing, so it's not horrible. So things like Discord and Telegram seem to do okay when it comes to scroll bars. But it just bothers me, right? It's, it's one of those things where you don't really... I mean, maybe you don't even notice it for a long time, and then you realize... Wow, those things are really freaking huge. Why don't they go away? Like, seriously, this is not a hard problem. And the the biggest problem with it is is that it's not even like a like I said, it's not a browser problem. A lot of the times these these scroll bars are designed and implemented by the websites themselves. So it's not easy even as if the problem is a consistent problem. Sometimes they're bigger on some websites than the other. Sometimes on certain websites they're square. Sometimes they're round. They're totally inconsistent. So they're inconsistently bad across the board. So I, like, like, how is this a problem we haven't fixed yet? I don't even know really why it bothers me so much. It's just that one of those things where I saw it and I was like, that is fucking ugly. Like, it, it is so bad. And... The thing is, like on this page here that I was showing you, I guess not, not easy, it'd be bad enough if there was just one of them, right? There's just one over here, but there's two of them on this page. Like, so it's even makes it even harder to miss. And I, I don't, I don't understand why. Like, I don't understand why they're so bad. Now, there are, I could show you other examples, but I have that plugin already installed and. Luckily, that plugin works on the vast majority of websites. Unfortunately, YouTube is not one of them, so I'm going to have to put up with the scroll bars there. Uh, so I told you this video was dumb. Um, I can't help it. Most of my rants are dumb. I can't help it. But still, I just wanted to get this off my chest. So in the comment section below, do you hate scroll bars as much as I do? <laughs> or do you have the same rational hatred? If you do, leave me a comment. If you have uh, 
If you like your scroll bars and you like them as thick as possible, you can leave those comments below too and we'll have that conversation. You can follow me on Twitter at LinuxCast. You can support me on Patreon at patreon.com slash LinuxCast. Before I go, I'd like to take a moment to thank my current patrons. Sid A, Devon, East Coast Web, Patrick L, Primus, Marcus, Meglin, Jackson, I, Pool, Steve I, Cyberguy, Lennox, Garrick, Mitchell, Art Center, Carbon Dated, Jeremy, Sean, Odin, Martin E, Merrick, Camp, Joshua Lee, J-Dog, Peter A, Crucible, and Dark Bandit 6. Thanks everybody for watching. I'll see you next time.